Greetings brothers, welcome. Tonight is Blood Angels 2000 points against the Sisters of Battle. This is the first battle report that we're doing with the 9th edition uh, Codex Supplement for Blood Angels. And we are working towards having a weekly battle show every week on a Monday night. More details as soon as the next lockdown in the UK ends. If we're just meeting, I'm John, the Blood Angels Commander. Every week on this channel we focus on battle reports, hobbying, tactics, strategies, just everything to generally f focus on the Blood Angels and also make you a better Blood Angels player. If that's something you're interested in, please consider subscribing. So, without any further ado, let's get right into today's battle. Today we're on the Scorched Earth map, mission number 12 of the Grand Tournament Pack. Uh, my second race for this map were Oath of Moment, Engage of all fronts and raise the banners. These are three that I usually think or do pick and generally I aim for about 10 points out of these secondaries. So we'll see how we did at the end but um, I try not to be too greedy and try and just sort of consolidate a good 10 points out of all of them, 30 points every game. Uh, if you aim for something like that then I think you'll be in a good standing. My opponent uh, Andrew took uh, Titan Hunter to try and bring down my super heavy tank. He also took Deploy Scramblers and then finally he had a, so many deep striking units in this battle so he also took uh, Engage on all fronts. Alright, let's check out both the army lists. Yeah, okay, so um, Paramarch, Chaplain on a Bike, he's the Wise Orator, he's the Benediction of Fury, Mantra of Strength, Master of Sanctity, Canticle of Hate, Gift of Foresight, and he is the Warlord. Tech Marine, who's Master of the Forge. Librarian Dreadnought, who is Chief Librarian. So he has a Meltagon, Wings of Sanguinius, Shield of Sanguinius, Quickening. And he's also a Hero of the Chapter with Iron Resolve. Assault Intercessors, 5-man. Two 5-man uh, Infiltrator Squads. Um, Vanguard Veterans, all the Z-Wigs. So I think it's three Chain Swords, three Power Fists. All those guys have storm shields, and then the sergeant has the relic blade, and then Fennel pistol. Um, Sanguary guard again. It's just busy wig. So, a couple of swords, a couple of three axes, three power fists, and a couple of infernal pistols. One, two infernal pistols. Yeah, that's correct. And then uh, death company, one thunder hammer. Five with just bolt or bolt pistols and chain swords. I guess they changed that. And then the Lord of War, Relic Leviathan, super heavy tank destroyer. Um, you know what he does. Twin volcano, eight last cannons, nine. Well, three heavy bolters, so nine shots. Okay, go for it. Okay, so we've got uh, they're all bloody bloody rose. We've got a can S with inferno pistol and the beneficence relic. Uh, she's also got. Indomitable belief, so she gets plus one to the advance. This one's got um, a blessed blade and an inferno pistol, um, and also the I can't remember what it's called, I think it gives you extra miracle dice. Okay, I'll remember it after. Uh, got a preacher here to get plus one attack to the guys, uh, four squads of battle sisters, two with combi meltas, got a storm bolter there just filling the points. Um, two squads of retributors, uh, with four multi melters each and two morium cherubs. The superior's got a combi plasma. Uh, three squads of Zeraphim, one with the pennant, and two with plasma pistols. Celestine, two rhinos. This one's got a hunter killer missile. Squad of nine repentia, and two squads of Seraphim. Uh, the superior's got plasma pistol. And then the quad inferno pistols in both. Nice. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below and we'll do our very best to answer. We answer every single comment on this channel, so um, I'm sure that we'll be able to help you out. And if you have to further questions or you want to know a bit more, then there is a link to a Facebook group down below where you can hit me up. Um, we have a great community of Blood Angels players. It's always growing, so please consider jumping into that Facebook group as well. Okay, let's have a look at deployment um, for both factions, and I have uh, speeded up deployment quite a bit. So, um, yeah, you're 10 inches in from each battle side, 
And um, yeah, I mean, that's the only stipulation, really. Just 10 inches across and two uh, objectives in each deployment zone and then two 18 inches away from the middle. So I start by putting infiltrators on this side and you can see that I'm measuring uh, that they are within 12 inches of the edge of the map. So just straight away screening against any potential deep strike early in the game. And then um, again, uh, infiltrators wrap around this building at the back here. So basically securing both my flanks. Uh, both of those are in obscuring positions, so shouldn't be able to be shot by anything. And then straight away, right in the middle, we put down the super heavy tank so that Putting the super heavy tank down early um, is fine, I think. I mean, like, there's counterplays, I suppose, but, like, I just wanted to put it down where it's some really good arcs of fire. That was my main concern. And um, it has loads of room to move out there as well. Sometimes you have to watch the super heavy tank actually needs clearance of 8 inches to get through between vehicles. So, or, sorry, through terrain. So that's what that is for there. And... Um, the other obscuring terrain that I have in my deployment zone, I'm going to use that to get my Vanguard veterans deployed. And my Sanguary Guard, like I don't want these guys shot in any way, shape or form. And I'm actually going to deploy my Captain back. So this is like a crazy strategic deployment where we are both hiding everything. I actually screened out a little bit the front as well with uh, the Salt Intercessors. And the reason that I put them out in front of the tank was because I know that that Rhino that he has down there has Repentia in the... And I really just didn't want to have to... But I'd rather, if the Repenture are going to kill something, let them kill the Salt Intercessors. They're my cheapest unit, right? Um, so I wanted them in front of the Dreadnought. Um, just generally didn't want them to be uh, any threat. first turn, yeah, yeah. then do a pre-game move. Um, yeah, okay, I'll go first. Right, Miracle Dice, start the battle round. Six. I'll you put them up here. Okay, and um, cheat sheet, because I'm an idiot. Alright, cast two litanies. Um, What litanies do I, I have? I have Mantra, Strength, Canticle of Hate. I mean, there's no point casting Canticle of Hate. Alright, so. Uh, Mantra of Strength passes and Litany of Hate also passes. I'm surprised they didn't give you cards for your litanies. That's annoying. I need to make some cards, I guess. Hmm. I have like a couple of angels card deck. Huh? Yeah, that's what I've got there, but I guess it doesn't it didn't it didn't come with a lot of these. Mm -hmm. Why I don't know. Tech Marine will awaken the vehicle. Mm -hmm. And these guys will raise a banner. These guys will raise a banner. Do we have banners right There should be ones that are purple ones. But this one I can see one here in front of the tanks. This one. Oh. This should be the one. Or you use tight drones. We didn't take the banners away from them here, did we? Another. Oh, here's. Yeah, another one. Cool. Might need one more later, I guess. But. <laughs> right, let's do another room. Okay, well, we'll find one there. Yeah, I, guess. I don't think there's more. Okay. 
Um, in both of them, I score at the end of the battle round. But that's your movement phase down if you put your banners up. Is that the end of the phase? Is it, did I even write that down? No. Okay, that's. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I need to make sure that I'm doing it right. Okay, thank you. <laughs> we just played Colin, he uh, forgot to put like one of his guys in, on the priority objective on the mission, and he just moved them after, so I'm just doing it. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's why he's known as Cheeky Colin now. Uh. He's known as Cheeky Colin, yeah. So, this will class as in cover, right? Mm -hmm. So it'll be a one plus save for them. Yeah. But the ones that are not up there won't get that. Correct. Yeah. Well then, if we advance, these guys will go under. So. They'll get it for under. Yeah. Then fuck it. Well, he already moved in 12, so he'll move another 3. So. Yeah, and they're all within 6. I feel like you've got a lot on the board. It's more army. More hundred yeah, no. <laughs> I like how you've got the heads painted different for different units, so that's quite No, I was just trying to be clever, I guess. No, that's um Oh, tank. Sorry? Can't really hide. <laughs> no. <clears throat> Biker, would, does he... If he was behind a barricade, would he get cover? Or does... Bikes aren't infantry. Is it infantry only that gets cover? I have to check that. I don't even have the... Sir. Because I didn't realise until this week that bikes don't take the minus one for moving and shooting. Did you know that? No. Because... I know monsters and vehicles don't. Yeah, the, the, the stipulation of that is that they're not infantry. I thought it was that they had the vehicle keyword. No, it's... Okay, for obstacles, it's only infantry beasts and swarms that receive benefits covered. Okay. So, like, for example, those ATVs still shoot their multi-melters on threes when they move. They're vehicles. No, they're not. Oh, they're bikes. They're bikes, so they don't have the vehicle. So they. It's oh, I think I think I did them on three seven. <laughs> oh right. Well, I, I thought I I you know I've got the attack bike for multi melters. I haven't been running them because I thought it was fours. No, it's threes. Like. Huh. Um, so that in the shooting bit then, yeah. Well, it's, it was in that big guns never tire bit. I think. But somebody linked it to me and said it's bec oh, I don't have the rule book with me, but it's um When a vehicle or model shoots a weapon, subtract one oh that's just some different range. Not it's only about vehicles and monsters, it'll be about heavy weapon probably about heavy weapon section. Subtract one from the hit roll if the firing model is infantry. infantry. Yeah, so your bikers are fine. They still get to fire the multi metals and threes. So that actually makes those ATVs with eight wounds that you can bring back to life. <laughs> Wait, in <so> their <laughs> feed. <laughs> and it's you, you can put them in heavy doctrine as well. So yeah. Um, I might run that against Colin just to annoy him. I'm surprised that if he keyed that, yeah. What, the eight wound re returning to life? Yeah, I mean, I guess there'll be a big FAQ coming. 
and the death count it could be four laps of the board before you start the game as well. <laughs> yeah, that as well. I mean, I guess. Uh, right, so I'll be in that one next turn. This is okay. Another problem. I only know the lookout story that's in the rule book. They've FAQ'd it, right? Mm hmm. What's different from the FAQ version than the rule book FAQ? It's only to do with characters. It's so. Uh... So he's a character with less than 10 wounds. He's next to a squad of infantry, but you can't see the infantry. That's fine. You can't shoot him. Yeah. Okay. It's, it's to stop your dread. Say you had two librarian dreadnoughts. Yeah, it's to stop them being sh each other. Shielding each other, that's all, that's all it is. Okay, so is it is just basically what it says. But if you're a librarian dreadnought, it's that tank or that squad, it's fine. Okay. Alright, so end of the movement phase, let's do the banners. That's good in here, yeah, because then you get to do the movement phase. You put your banners up. Thank you. Uh, then we'll do, there's no healing or revives or anything, there's a deep strike, so we'll cast Straight your... Straight on to the shooter phase. Cast your psychic powers. Uh, he's, he's not going to be in range. So we're going to put Shield of Sanguinius on that do? Um, it's a tanker, uh, I'm done, we'll see. <laughs> okay. It's fine, just slightly like out of range. Sure, maybe you can get him next turn. Um, I think we will re roll that. It didn't take a CP at the beginning of the game, so it's fine. Right, so shield of sanguineous on this tank. Sure. That's five weapons on, isn't it? Yes. Um, I'm surprised you didn't get one anyway. Yeah, it's just because it's got a two plus save, I guess. Um, and then I guess we'll cast um, quickening on him as well. Mm -hmm. Again, it's a six. Again, it's a double one. I can't no. re-roll that. Um, D3, right? Yeah. One and um, six last feel no pain. Fails. <laughs> well, everyone wants to kill himself. Every right? game, I get pearls. Every game. Can't wait to start. Okay. Um, it's quick to do again. Start the move again or something. Uh, like I get additional attacks just in case you decide to charge me or anything like that. Okay, that's it. Shooting then, we'll shoot everything from the tank into the Repentia. Eh, uh, sorry. The Rhino. The Rhino. Um, so, uh, we'll just start with the main cannon. Uh, 2D, 2D3. Uh, 3. 2 to hit. 2 to wound. 3. And I get my doctor in for this, because we, we verified that last mm -hmm. time. So 3 at minus 6. So 6 up in one. Okay, 18 of them. Oh, sorry. Yeah, no, there's no feel no pain. All right, six. So I'm going to do two first, just to see. Uh, how much damage is it? Six. And wait, is there, are all the last cannons coming in as Everything. well? Everything. That's the only thing I can see. Okay. Um, I'll just roll the other. Okay, so damage. two push through. Yeah. Does it blow? No. What was in there? Nine of Pension or something? Nine of Pension, the priest. Uh, roll for them. Five. So two die. Uh, what would be still to shoot there? What's got guns there? Well, these guys, but they don't have the range of the thought. What are they? What's their range? 18. And then what one guy can see you from this squad. Okay. I mean they'll rapid fire you with that one guy that can see you. 
Oh, cool. Oh, well, he, one, two can see you because there's a window. I mean, it was eight more last guys. <laughs> I was, I was half the, I could have saved one of them, but not. Yeah. All right, we'll shoot you from two guys. Uh -huh. Rapid fire. Um, so threes, two alt wounds, and yeah, so four saves, no minus. Uh, five off pimp on from cells. No, and then five off field of pain. Uh, one dies. Not range, he's not in range. These guys aren't in range. Um, no charges, no fights. I mean, <laughs> they probably can't feel morale only. Well, they could, I suppose. I'm just trying, that's what I was literally looking for. Well, I think their morale is nine. Then they're all good. He's never chill. So the good fail. Twenty six. Come on. Big six. Start it off nice. Okay. Um score me. Um didn't get all fronts. Um did kill a vehicle, so I get one for oath. E that's the end of the I get the vehicle one now, I suppose. Yeah. Um, at the end of it I'll get another three. So put down like three tally marks. That's if they're, if oh, they're still yeah. alive, yeah. And all fronts nothing, and raise the banners, they nothing. score the command phase, so yeah. two are up. Uh, go put ten tallies for them as well, because we'll forget. Yeah. Okay, cool. Your turn. Uh, uh, excuse me. So, one CP. And Miracle Dice at the start of my turn. A five. Oh god, that's really good. Right, so... Mm. Mm, that's tasty. And you have two objectives, right? Mm -hmm. Going to run the repentia. Going to CP that. Five. So the movement six plus five is quick maths. Eleven. Correct, John. for the rest. Same colour. Our retributors are going out. Do it. 
further than further. And they walk out. Oh, yeah, but... Um, yeah, I know they can walk out, but they disembark three, don't they? Yeah. Then you would move. Yeah. So they need to all be in three before you move. Them. Right. Sure. All right, they're just going there. Yeah. Sorry, they didn't yeah. come up yeah. much yeah. closer. <laughs> okay. So the rest of your squad is gonna just fire everything into that squad there. Okay. Um using the um I'm popping with the cherubs. Okay, so it's twelve shots, is it? Yeah. Hitting on threes, we roll ones. Strength eight, uh, toughness four, right? Mm -hmm. So twos. Gonna CP that one. So that is four, eight saves at minus four. All right, four plus save. One. Because we've got storm choice. Oh, it's out there. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. One. Four damage. Four dead. Ugh. Combi plasma. Hits. Wounds. Minus three. Four again. Six. Yuck. That went quite well. Take your cherubs off. Alright. Hunter killer missile into your big tank. Put some angel uh, four eight or four eight or something. Yeah. Okay. Three. You already see. Yeah. Awesome. This feels like one of my shooting phases. Charges. Uh, yeah. Repentance are gonna charge. That squad and that squad. Well, it will have them far do they need to. A 12. Yeah, that's a 12 for that. They'll just charge that squad. Okay. I assume you're using the Merkle Dice, yeah? Yeah. So, the weapon. So. Do you have some weird thing that makes me fight last or something stupid? No, and that's good enough. Any response to that? No. No. I don't even have a fight first in this either. Mm. So, activate them? Yeah. Yeah. So that's one, two, three, four, five. 
I don't think I can remotely intervene because this base wouldn't fit through there, would it? No, you have to. Yeah, so I'm just checking. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I get uh, three attacks each. Oh! And um, yeah, so it's going to be 15 attacks. Oh, I've got to spend a CP to let an advance charge well, sorry. Right, so it's going to be 18 attacks, hitting on fours. Wounding on strength six. So threes, so 18 is going to be nine, and then they're two damage each, aren't they? And then yeah. minus three. And six is burst. Okay, so transhuman isn't going to help me, I don't think. Because uh, you get to reroll all their all wounds. Their wound, all their attacks. Their wound rolls or their attack hit rolls. Hit rolls. And then you can reroll the wounds as well. No, just hits. So it's going to be like 14 hits. At threes, it's going to be like 10. And they're two damage each, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah, I think they're going to waste the CP. I don't think it's going to help me. Yeah, so three attacks each. Uh, so 18 attacks, is it? Mm hmm. 3, 6, 9, 12. 18. So hitting on fours, we roll on. And I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven sixes. So I didn't And then seven days. <laughs> and then it's can I just double check the strength? Because it's been a while since I've used Yeah, there's strength 3 and it's 2 times, isn't it? So isn't it strength 6? Strength 6, yeah. So it's 3s. I don't think it would have made a big difference wounding on 4s rather than 3s with all that dice. And it's minus 3, is it? Minus 4. Oh, great, so there's no save yet. Go ahead and do that. Do you know what? It might have made a difference. Well, look, let's see. Because that would mean your difference. Up. Basically, if you do five wounds, they're dead, though. So, yeah, yeah. 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 You, yeah. Okay, I'm going to. Yeah, I, mean, I think if you engage me, I will. It'll just it'll eviscerate them. But I mean, they can die, anyway, right? But yeah, it's whether I kill them in my turn or your turn again. <laughs> uh, okay, so it's the end of my combat. So get a miracle dice for killing something in combat. Mm -hmm. A four. Okay. So I get two for all fronts. I think that's it. Okay, so give me my three for both, I guess. Yep. And then give me... And start your turn. So you hold two, but you don't hold more. Mm-hmm. So that's ten. Yeah. And you get two for your banners, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay, command phase, litanies, mantra... Yeah. Get America may start the battle round. Six. <laughs> Canticle of hate on him, passes, and mantra of strength on him as well, passes. Okay. Tech Marine will await in the tank, obviously.
Maybe a six. So there would not be. <laughs> Over. Yeah, they're so desperate to get <laughs> <laughs> retributors, are they? Is that what they're called? Yeah. Um, He's just trying to pop all the rails. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh yeah. Well, oh, that comes off at the start of my second phase. Um. Just bring enough round to kill those. Tipperary can still advance and heal, can't he? Mm -hmm. right, I guess he'll advance. And... and what is this? Is this just so if, if my Sam's guard were in there, it's minus one to hit them? Or it's one to the armor save. It's one to the armor save, and it's minus one if you're shooting through it or into it. All right, perfect. Yeah, that's what I thought. Right, so we're going to jump. Oh, is it like shoot one that isn't in it? Then then we'll advance. We're going to get the hell into it. There's no point. In that. There's nothing to charge here, anyway, is there? No. Have any units in the codex majorly changed or anything? Or a little bit lackluster. That's kind of how I was looking at it a bit. I mean, we do get some cool things like his two uh, warlord traits and stuff mm. like that. You know. Um, all right, so they can see over there. Um, Yes, he's gonna stay right where he is. Okay. End of the movement phase then. Mm -hmm. um, I will tip rain heal him for D3. Mm -hmm. Second phase. Um, unsurprisingly I am going to start by smiting your guys right there. Mm -hmm. It's a ten. So that's D3. Yeah. One. So the pain. Good. Okay. Um, I'm going to cast the shield and attack again. Yeah. It's fine. <clears throat> so I'm going to try and deny that on a four up. Does that cost you a CP? Yeah. No. And um, finally, I'm going to cast quickening on myself. Yes. And for this turn, it is one additional attack. Okay. Um, shooting phase. Uh, twin bolter from the bike at this. Mm -hmm. And bikes get... They can do the rapid fire thing, right? Yeah. Okay. So... Pretty sure the chaplain on a bike is weapon skill two, but it might be threes. I think fire them very often to check. Chaplain on a bike. No, it's threes. Okay, so threes. Three hits. Mm -hmm. Three's to win. Mm -hmm. Three. Um, and it'll be. Doesn't matter, six up and one. Okay. They don't get any save. Alright. Nope, and then try looking on the pain. 
two dimensions. I made a paper job. <laughs> Alright, the three guys right in front of them. How much was your assault intercessor squad though? 95. Okay. They're gonna rapid fire. I <laughs> can't shoot. Oh dear. Two sixes. One saves. Feel the pain. No. Okay. Metal gun at them. Yeah. This is. Okay. Um, eight last cannons at these guys. Okay. Heavy cannon at this. Mm -hmm. um, and then. Two heavy bolters at this. No, I don't need to do that. You can definitely see those guys through the obscuring ruin. Without drawing any point through good hit tape. Probably not. You can find a path. No, actually, yeah. Yeah, okay. Okay, so last time is into them. Volcano cannon and the twin light heavy bolter at that, and the final heavy bolter at those guys. Okay. Alright, so volcano cannon, a few shots again, twos, twos to one, two saves on the rhino, sixes, twelve damage. Just blow up. Oh, there's guys in it. Mm. Oh, I forgot there's guys in it. Seven of them actually survived though. Five of them. <laughs> One survives. No, two. Two. I'll oh, put the leader. That's for the first. Sure, yeah. There you go. Um, okay, eight last cannons at your repentia. Uh, sorry, your, your seven. Yep. Seven hits. Two wound. Yeah. Minus three, yeah. Yep. So you've got plus one from cover. So that'll be five, son. Minus two, yeah. Five. Six. Four, four five, six. Five ups. Um, yeah, I guess that's four through. Okay, uh, I mean it's... Yeah, four two. You don't have to feel no pain though? No. Okay, and then sit heavy bolters into the last guy. Three to wound. Four, I guess no minus now. Threes. Dead. Deleted. Um, and then this heavy water at this. Mm -hmm. Three hits. Two saves. Sixes. One saves. Two fuel no pains. One dies. These guys will throw a crap grenade at No, oh, no, we'll do a frag grenade, they're only sisters, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah, frag grenade. Five hits. Uh, who, sorry? The, the only man in range, this one. Okay. That's six, right? Mm hmm. Um, so, threes to hit. Four to wound. Yep. <clears throat> Two saves. Twos. One dive. Of course. Um, charges then. Mm -hmm. Dreadnought will charge her. Let's get over watch. Okay, PFCP. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, I think a double one's getting me in, but that'll do. And then these guys will charge them. And like I said, I think a six because we've got plus one to charge. Five will probably be. Oh, nah, six, I think. 
You would normally need a six to get within an inch. Alright, five it is. Oh, no, it's was probably a six. <laughs> um, oh, we didn't score my ten at the beginning of my turn, I don't think. Did we? Yeah. Yeah, we did, okay. Okay, um, well, we'll fight here first. Um, you sure? Yeah. Uh, miracle dice. And then over here we'll activate. There you go. Okay. <laughs> so like you've got a million attacks on. Well, those ones don't, but I mean I guess you're not gonna have many. But three up save. One wound. Yeah, so I'm trying to think, it would be three, six, nine power fists. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Four relic blades and then like ten. It's a <laughs> Okay. Okay. End of my turn then? Yeah. So, both, you'll get one for the eco. Yeah. And you've got a squad in the middle, so it's potential. Yeah, and then potential for the leadership as yeah. well. Yeah. It's a really good run actually, that, isn't it, for Marines? Oh, consolidation. <laughs> Could you all remember that, eh? So two points for all fronts. Yep. And your banner will be on the next turn. If oh! One. What's wrong? I was supposed to bring the death company down, fuck. Okay, next turn. Yeah, probably a bit late <laughs> for that now. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm going to write that on my cheat sheet. <laughs> bring down the death company. Quite forgiven, but I mean, yeah, no, in the morale phase, it's probably a little too late. Yeah. I think things just went so... You know, I knew what I was doing, so... Um, so, I get 10 points from two objectives. They're still on it under there. Okay. Oh, uh, roll morale for those guys. They're fine. I'm just fishing for Miracle Dice. Mm -hmm. Alright. Okay. Yeah. So... What the hell are we doing here? Celestines there. Miracle dice at the start of my turn. Yeah. So, getting decent miracle dice for change. No, you've got a few. Tanky has to go, John. Yeah, I mean, Tanky has to go. But how do we get rid of Tanky? I think he's screened pretty well. This crazy bitch up to you guys. Six. Um, she's gonna run. CP that. If I fail that, I'm pretty terrible, I know. Guys, come down probably. And then. Which I'll from there and then. Mm -hmm.
take a squad of seraphim down first. Spend the one CP to shoot them as they come down. Mm hmm. Sure, you should. Dread not. Um, smoke screen. Okay. Well, hold on. Hmm. Can only cast smoke screen once per turn, right? For a phase. This is the movement phase. Oh, yeah, because this is the movement phase thing. Then, then yeah, I'm going to tap the smoke screen. Minus one, two. Okay. So, uh, all the shots into the drive. Mm -hmm. So, Inferno Pistols on fours then. Hit the one. Hit the three. Strength eight, T seven is it? So three. Three wounds. Minus five. He just gets his uh, duty eternal and feel no pain. Right, so, so it's just straight to damage yeah. No one done. Uh, three, six, seven. I've already CP'd the movement phase. So minus one off two of them, so it's five? Yeah. Okay, and then um, six plus four, okay. Takes three. Okay, bolt pistols. Yeah. Uh, one hit. That's not wound, and the plasma pistol, high power. Okay, got it. Mm -hmm. uh, three. Yep. Minus. Minus four. So again, no save. So just two, two damage. Yeah. Uh, so just take it five. They're going to do scramblers in the middle. Okay. It's quite a cool thing that they can actually shoot and then do scramblers. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, these guys. Actually. Take a squad of Zerf and down here. Then we can go balls deep, John. Looks like it. So now you'll be here.
Um, So 12 would be here, and then that would let, that would give them an 11 inch charge, right, mm -hmm. to the drive. How many CPU have you got? Four. Uh, how many types of drive get? Seven. Let me keep this squad. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. Shooting. Yeah, so. So I'm going to pay two CP to let the retributors extend the range to 36 mm -hmm. and add plus one to the damage. Yeah. So they're all shooting the tank. Smoke screen. Yep. So minus one tip. Yeah. Eight. Twelve. So twelve shots. Uh, plasma on high power as well. Do that after, yeah. Yeah. So this is hope what fours to hit. Yeah. Okay. T eight, isn't it? Yep, so fours. Three. Okay. Five plus six. Yeah. Um, and how much damage is you want to do? D six plus one. Go for it. Ten, thirteen. Okay. Six and five. Plasma high power. This is <laughs> dies. No, because you only fit die natural ones now. Did that actually change for everyone? I thought so. Oh, is it oh the gun that changed, is it? I thought it was you never died now if there was a negative modifier to hit, you only died on natural ones. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think okay. it's dead. Yeah, yeah, no, because it's, it's stupid <laughs> the other way. Okay, these guys, um, get to the bolt pistols and the plasma pistol and high power on them, on the dread. Mm -hmm. So plasma pistol high power, hits, doesn't wound, and then the four bolt pistols, uh, all hit. Mm -hmm. Fives. One at minus one. Four plus. Uh, feel no pain. Half killing everything. Their bolt pistols onto that squad. Mm -hmm. So it's 10 shots on three. Can I reroll? And then on uh, fours. So that is three at minus one. So three. Okay, and then same deal here onto the squad in the middle. Okay. Threes. And fours. Uh, two to the loss. Yeah. <laughs> uh, one. Two plus. Five. Oh, that was pathetic again, guys. Well, 30 rules against the big tanks. Okay. Uh, is it bracketed even? It's like right on the edge. Yeah, but I'll, I'll heal it before it shoots. Yeah. Okay. Charges. Mm hmm. Um, pay one CP to let the cannons run and charge. Okay. So she's going to charge. Six. These guys only a nine. 
Mm -hmm. And we'll use our pendant to re-roll. No. No. And these guys are going to charge your character on the squad. Okay. What we need to get the character. Does he need. Yeah. Ten. Yeah. So I'll take uh instead of ten. Yeah. They don't take a penalty for moving over the No, because they fly, yeah. Okay. Uh, how many CP have you got now? Three. Yeah. When do just scramblers finish at the end of your turn? Yeah. Yeah. They're quite good like that. And what do you have to do? You have to do your deployment zone, middle, end. And your deployment zone, yeah. Yeah. You didn't do your deployment zone even until you've got a squad. I, I forgot the first oh, turn. Oh right, you forgot, okay. <laughs> That's why I was confused, I was like, okay. Shit happens. Okay, so mm -hmm. uh, I'll activate that squad first. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm going to pay a uh, CP to give them plus one to wound. Okay. So that is <clears throat> five a minute, I guess. Yeah, sure. So I guess we'll do three in your bike. Yeah. And then the Seven on your squad. Okay, and the guys, so you've got three in the bite, how many attacks do they get each? Three. So it'd be nine attacks, and you hit on threes? Mm hmm. And what, what will you wound toughness five on normally? Uh, we wounded on fives, so we wound on fours. Okay, so nobody can try and see what it is. I'm trying to forget where the plasma pistol is, can you see it? There. Okay. So he gets an extra attack. Okay, so the extra one's on the squad. Alright, so do the three against the biker first. Yes, so one, two, three. Hit on three. Mm -hmm. No sixes. <laughs> or sixes burst or something? Yeah. Okay. And then winning on fours, then re rolling. So it is six saves at minus five. Okay. Minus four, sorry. So four plus in front we'll save. Yeah. Um, so two go through and I'll use his gift of the foresight to be well safe. Okay. Um it takes two wounds. And then it's seven against your other guys. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven plus one for the superior. Okay, so on threes, on fours, so the minus one hit there's something we're going. Okay, on fours. Uh, that's one, two, three, four, four sixes. And they normally win in on four, so they win in on threes. Be rolling. Is four, eight, nine, ten, thirteen at minus four. So we are looking. Do I get? I don't know. Numbers with sixes, right? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Three is okay. So it would be ten fields. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Alright, so five die. Um one, two, three. I can take them out of coherency, right? 
Mm -hmm. But if it yeah. uncares them, Ra will die. Yeah, so then Tyler is actually. Okay. One, two, three, four. Or I guess five. Yep. That's alright. And I'll interrupt against you. Yeah. Come in this. You're going to do it against one without the canness. Yeah, I mean, another squad would have got brutalized. You know, you can say guard art. Um, Alright, so the sergeant with the relic blade, and then I think, I'm going to check, there's three, still three power fists over there, is there? Two, three, yeah. Yeah, um, and then chain swords. Okay, so reds and blues are hitting on threes, power fists are hitting on fours. Perfect, so I assume we'll wound on a two. Yep. Alright, so two minus three. So four pinball on those. Good. And then um, chain swords, toughness. Three. So it'll be twos. So three more at minus one. Uh, four up. Takes two. And then the relic blade, uh, so twos again. Two more. Minus three. And then how much damage are these? Two each. So uh, yeah. I'll roll the first one. No. So it loses. So then one wound. And I'll save the last one then. Is that all your attacks, yeah? Mm hmm. Okay. So save the last one in Miracle Base. So Miracle, John. Her attack back. She gets eight attacks. Of course she does. 50 point model. Here we go. Hitting on two, three rolling ones. Rolling ones, John. That's four sixes. That's another four. Here we go. You ready for this? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I think it's trying to go once I used it. One health. Go figure. Yeah. It's trying four. So. T4, yeah. Force wound. So that many saves is minus three. It's five at minus three. Four forces. One oh three. God. So many, so, so many good saves. Two damage. You attack. Uh, your librarian dread was ridiculous. No. Was your attack was ridiculous as well? No. But the good. Was the, saved anything no, it was those guys there. Uh, oh yeah, they saved well in the first yeah. one, didn't they? That's yeah, Storm Shield, I guess. Morat. Oh, you Chaplain. Yeah. Chaplain on a bike. And this guy has the mantra of strength, and he casted it, so... Of strength gives you plus one attack, so six attacks. All right, so six attacks hitting on twos. Mm -hmm. Toughness is like seven. Then I get my plus one, twos. so it'll be twos. And six is your mortal wound. Three mortal wounds and five saves. Uh, Minus. It's the benediction of fury relic, so like. Check. Um, it's a lot of fun. Uh, minus two. So fives. Okay, so that's nine damage. It doesn't matter. Okay. And then two, what was it, three more mortal wounds? Yeah, so six die. Six. Alright. We can 
consolidate or activate rather. Um, Sanguinary Guard, um, so it's four attacks for the red dice will be the swords, uh, black dice will be the um, axes. Oh, so it's all it's all the same, and they're next to the warlord because he's the warlord, so it's two set. Ooh. Um, and then the swords are toughness five with plus one, and the axes are toughness six with plus one, so it'll just be twos again. It's a common theme with blood angels, isn't it? Yeah. So four at minus three. <coughs> and so four or five ups. Five up and a minus three. In oh, is it? It's better off it. They miss their feel no pain when their body rolls. Okay. Um, we're all then? I don't have to bother anymore. Because? You killed them all. Oh, right. Well, I just need a morale test for these. They lost five. Mm -hmm. Six, seven, eight. Eight for good. Close. Okay. Um, yeah. End of the turn then. Oh. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Um. I would get three more from this at the moment. Yeah. I failed all fronts. And I've done the first scramblers. Okay. Okay, so start your turn. I hold three. And I hold three. Yep. So you get ten points. And you get your two few banners. Yeah. I get miracle dice. Okay. Feels has gone great for me. <laughs> yeah. um, we will cast um, Madra Strength on himself again. Passes. And we will cast. Cast Litany of Hate. It might be the wrong choice, but I'll do it. Yeah, okay. Man of Strength, Litany of Hate. And I guess our psychic powers come off. Uh, Tetmarine will buff the tank again. The tank won't be hitting on freeze at the moment, but we're about to heal him, so don't worry about that. Um, can you raise a banner if you fall back? No. No. I can't fight her again. Because <laughs> <laughs> no, she'll, she'll... Is she going to get like 10 attacks again in your phase? I should, well, and she'll get 7, not 8. Still pretty brutal, isn't it? Yeah. She doesn't have that great, she just has a 4 plus and vulnerable save. Mm -hmm. Is that in combat or is that just all in general? It's like an iron hit.
<laughs> it's got too much stuff to shoot now. <laughs> What do they move? Twelve. Uh -huh. No, I don't think it needs to be so negative. So I've got to keep something in the middle, so... Oh, they're in cover there anyway. Mm -hmm. there. There's that, there's that, there's that. <coughs> um, so you can see them, see them. So you can see them as well. Okay, just then uh, death company, I guess. We're gonna come down basically just nine away from there. Ruin. Yeah. Sure. So we'll charge we'll be aiming to charge into the ruin basically. So they might be a little bit closer than nine, but when we come to make the charge you'll know it's you know. Mm -hmm. Please. Oh, no. Oh, fuck. Take them off. I wanted to fall back out just here, that's alright. I just don't think I can... Really good well, yeah. Yeah, they're just flying, basically, full strength. Oh, that's yours. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, end of the moment phase, psychic phase then. Um, yeah. Once again... We'll raise our shield on this thing. Great. And we will cast um let's see. I feel like that's ballsy, but Wings of Sanguinius on him. Mm -hmm. Okay. We'll just have to let it go. And quickening on himself. That's better. And it's going to be two attacks this turn. Right, shooting. We'll start here. Um, going to rapid fire. The front two are in rapid fire range. Mm -hmm. The back ones are not. It's going to be seven shots. Two hits. <laughs> One wound. Take a save. Dead. Yeah. <laughs> I was debating using the miracle dice. <laughs> Shot with other things if I know I'm to kill all the um, Alright. Two Sangu Regard with um, Angelus Bolters against the sister squad that's under there. Okay. Uh, so just three and three strand. Alright, so three at minus one. Three up so five. Okay. Um, these guys will rapid fire. Mm -hmm. Those three, six, ten. Six 
is all the wound. Five new AP. <clears throat> now, well, there was the three of the barrier. Yeah. But, yeah, so I can draw a line, like going through the barrier. Okay. To some of them. So. What do you want to just do half of them? What was I going to say? Five? Yeah, sure. Roll a dice 50 50. If it's more than. We'll see it's uh, Although it's per model, so... Oh right, it's per model, okay. So do like, three in cover and then okay. two out. So two twos, dead, and then two out, two Wait. dead. Yes. Okay, and um, melting on the squad. Uh-huh. Hips. One. Five up. No. Two damage. No, oh, probably going to double that from four damage. Um, twin bolter, same squad. Uh, two misses. Oh, but. Make, make sure I did the. I think I cast Canticle, didn't I? Yeah, so we'll save that. Mm -hmm. that yeah. I'm going to need to make cards for that. Two wounds minus one. Uh, four is not one of the nice. That's not her. <laughs> Tip ring, sure. Or shoot them. Rapid fire. Uh, Tip ring. No, he didn't move, did he? So rapid fire. Because he vanished last time. He forgot to heal, though. Yeah. So that's, that's <laughs> Two saves, though. <so. laughs> just looking at your tanks, wait. Yeah. On these guys. Mm -hmm. No minus? It's just a bolt gun, no minus. Uh, so, are you an assault bot from the right? Yeah, I'll be in. Uh, close to Just turn three, so it's just okay. no minus. Five. Okay. Um, they've all shot, they've all shot. They've shot, they've shot, they can't shoot. Okay, so shooting from this then, mm -hmm. um, and it is going to be minus one to So it's going to be threes to hit. Um, Good. Put nine heavy bolters into these guys, mm -hmm. along with the volcano cannon to do a squad of ten. Okay. Four last cannons, four last cannons. Okay. Right, so we'll do the volcano into the squad of 10, um, it's 2d3, so that'll be uh, 4. Mm. We'd have to be more than 11 to get maximum shots on it. Uh, so 3s. Oh, that made a big difference. 1 save at minus 5. 5 up. Right, so while you're there, we'll do 4 last cannons. Three hits. Two wounds and uh yeah, three wounds. Fives and uh, two go through. Okay, um, four last turns into these ones. <laughs> <laughs> that, that one tech ring fail. <laughs> one more save on them. Love it. Five. We good. Okay, and then the nine heavy bolters. Just to make a big tank ineffective. Oh, yeah. That's better. Please. Yeah. Two more saves. Minus one, so threes. See the ones in the cover. Can they? Mm hmm. Because oh. they're in it. Alright, so five more pistols. Three hits. One wood. Two up. Okay. Well, three up, actually. It's minus one, isn't it, when you're bolt pistols? So. No, no bolt pistols. No oh, because now, yeah, sorry, pistols up doing the FRCs. Uh, Alright, charges then. Um, and he did canticle. So that's a plus two to my charge range. So we'll charge. For everyone. 
Anyone within six. Huh. Is it core or anyone? Core and characters. Now, you've said, now that I've said it, I'm doubting it, but let me double check. I believe you just did that. Yeah, core and characters within six. So everyone, these guys will charge, then he will charge, then he'll charge last. Okay. So these guys against these. We will be... What do you get? 3 plus 2, 5. It's going to be close. I think it might be. You, you, did, you tell So me. what's your actual... What, is your, what can what? you move? Is it 5? Yes. So... You normally need a 5 to get within an inch. Because the 6 is like... See what I mean? Yeah, it's, it's right on the edge. Yeah, so I think that's valid, right? Yeah, yeah. Just checking. So they're in. That was the right aura to cast, I guess. And this guy against these. I'm pretty sure he can't fail. Oh, he's going around the back, is he? This guy against these. Okay. Um, Death Company against you guys in that room. Mm -hmm. So this will be an 8. This will be a roll. This will be a dead death company. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> worth it. Worth the try. Um. Okay. Um. You got CPM for interrupting? No. No. All right. Well, then we'll start with these guys. Highly in. Okay. Um. So because it's turn three, then it's four in the sergeant on three and the other guys. Yeah. Uh, hitting on threes. Wounding on threes. Is that new body in your face? Yeah, I bought the new ones. So two, four, six, seven at minus one. Is the one in this. Oh, they've actually got the symbol for the six, now. Yeah, they've done it backwards just to confuse. Seven at minus one. Uh, four or seven? That's a John save. Two dead. Okay. Uh, Dreadnought. Mm -hmm. um, and it has a lot now that it's turned three. So it's got four normally. So five for charging, six for turn three, eight for quickening. And then one from the four toddlers. So hitting on threes. Strength twelve. So wounding on twos. Mm -hmm. They're minus four. So four. Five. Five. Five of them. Dead. Okay. And then I guess uh, you'll activate. Yeah. Just push on three inches. Actually. These guys can consolidate six now because Captain Cold Heat is within six inches, right? Each time this model moves or makes a pile in consolidation, it can move an additional three. Yeah. So I guess Dreadnought will come around here. You can hit the Dreadnought if you want. Yeah. And you'll go six to two. Then you can consolidate. You can activate and then put consolidate. So that's your pile in. All right. Yeah. Now you, now you can consolidate six if you want. Okay. I think I just need to clean that corner of the board. Um. Death. Oh, no, they failed the charge, didn't they? Right. Very funny. <laughs> right. <laughs> just, score me some points. Failures. I've got three for all fronts, though. Yeah. So all fronts. One, two, three. Um. Oath. Well, I'd you, you can't kill a vehicle now. But I killed a character. I think it. Oh, is it character? count as... Yeah. It's a character vehicle or monster. Right. So I get one for that again, and then tally me down three. Yep. Um, I give you your... Yeah, we've got right on all fronts, so then tally me two for banners. Because I get them in the yeah. next. Okay. Sorry, um, so what this guy doing? Morale for him. Oh, well, you can hit you first, I guess. Yeah. On the dread. One hit. Oh, that burst, though. 
and the wounds. Okay, and then morale? Yeah. Four, Four, five, six, seven, eight. What's the morale? Probably eight. Seven, I think. No, well, then he's, he's dead. Yeah. Oh, the sergeant with the eight, you, you two come off, yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay, start your turn. Miracle dice. Start the turn. Four. And CP. I think you could over there. Yeah. Right. <laughs> what have you got still to bring in? A squad of Seraphim and a squad of Seraphim. Here. It's getting annoying. <laughs> it's getting two points all the time. Do you, do you guys have a on in here? No, you're pathetic. <laughs> you didn't know. Priest's gonna run. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry, start the turn. I held two. Yeah. So it's ten. Mm -hmm. You've kind of got to get those points, otherwise, you just lose. Guys, want to fly over here? Eat the. How many CP have you got now? One. Perfect. My favorite amount of CP for a drawer. <laughs> oh, you just got a storm bowler. You're useless as well. I guess we could do that and then see what happens. It's all my standard movement done. Actually, these sisters are going to run. Ooh. That's 12. So we're going to take in the Seraphim. Let's see what we can do to this tank. Was this. This isn't actually. No, I don't think that's actually. <laughs> One CP and they're going to shoot. So, one threes. Fucking hell. You did that. <laughs> I needed to keep my CP for something else. 
and to wound wounds minus well it doesn't matter because I've got my five plus yeah. one, we'll save. Oh it was on the five five damage. Um so what's it down to now? Eight. Eight wounds. Mm -hmm. And the Xerophim squad. I need mean, to take out this tag, John. You know that. I think I'm just going to have to risk what's a 12 on that, actually. Yeah, so it okay. Right. How many is it? Three, seven, eight. You don't have any CP, do you? No. Yeah, so you don't have a miracle dice either. I've got a four. Still. Takes up charge. It is. It is. But. <laughs> it's ten victory points if I can get it. Oh, what did you take? Titan? Titan, right? yeah. Oh, you did take That's it. That's what I'm trying to Alright, okay, so. <laughs> do you realize you take it? Alright, uh, so that's everything in mm -hmm. shooting phase. Yep. So she's going to fire Melta into him. Mm -hmm. And got one rapid fire bolter, two rapid fire bolters. And the other two bolters are going to them. Okay. So the rapid fire bolters into him. Two. T5, yeah. Mm -hmm. Fives. Two saves. Minus. No minus. Three. One goes through. Mm-hmm. Um, again. Yeah. Hits. Mm -hmm. Wounds. Um, minus four. Four plus save. Saves. Damn. <laughs> I've saved him a reroll for the save on that as well. Two bolters onto them. One hit. Oh, sorry. Doesn't wound. Celestine's flame run them. Two shots, turn five, fours, or three is it? Minus one. So two, two plus six. six. Okay. Uh, these bolters onto him. Mm -hmm. So that's. They didn't move, so it'd be for me. That's that not a space or anything. Oh, sorry. Okay. Uh, threes. And fives. On the side? No minus. No minus. And. I guess I'll take it. I'll save this reroll for what's coming with the character, I guess. Peach just gonna shoot his last pistol at him. Hit. Think. I don't think. I can't remember if it is or not. It didn't wound down there. These guys are going to fire their bolt pistols into Death Company. Three, seven bolt pistols. Two, four, no, sorry, six bolt pistols. Five, six, and their blues plasma pistol. Oh no, they don't have plasma pistol because they did diamond instead. Three, and one minus one. Yeah, four plus. Oh, sorry. 
a little plasma pistol to fire from when they came down. Okay. Is that right? Yeah. yeah. High power. Hits. Wounds. On what to hand, sir? Minus. Minus four. Saved. Okay, so now them and the bowlers, sir. Uh, one hit. That's not Okay, so now they're actually shooting the tank. Okay. Bolters, three hit. Six is two. Two, minus one. Three. Takes wood. Plasma pistol, high power. Hits. Doesn't wound. Uh, ten bolt pistols onto it. Are they, how many are in range? I'm just going to say 12. Let's say 4. 4. Mm. 3. Okay. 2 hits. 6 hits. Uh, these guys run. run. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Cannon S is going to charge your drag. Eight. I think that's it. Yep. Because I'm not even B. Nine's actually touching it. Okay. Happy about you? Yeah, sure. Um, Celestine's going to charge that. Charge them. Five. It's nice you can't interrupt. <laughs> uh. Okay, the Zarafim are going to try and charge your tank. Um, one second. It's a squad of ten. I mean, I'll kill some of them for sure. What do they save on? Five up, ten up. Um, I might regret this, but I guess go for it. The Seraphim are going to charge it. They're being screwed. Oh no. <laughs> I shot them already. I've been fit for getting to do my Amazing Summer Banners as well. So yeah. Join the club, I guess. <laughs> Alright, that's terrible. They failed. Um, I think that's all the charges then. Yep. So it doesn't really matter where we start, I suppose. No. Yep. Start with these guys. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. It's 21 plus 1, 22 attacks. Mm -hmm. 5, 10, 15. Alright, just one second. I'm just going to play my new deck on the card. <laughs> on threes. One, two, three sixes. And then strength four, toughness four. So four to win. I used to be sleepy, didn't I? Yeah. Four to win. Rerolling. What gives them the reroll? Bloody roll. Just inherit. That's their that's Zerifim special. Okay. They've got a lot better since Power Swords got buffed, haven't they? Well they used to be strength three, so you had to use the strat to make them actually yeah. useful. And what are these stupid minus, right? Minus four, yeah. Then we need sixteen and minus four. Two, four, six, eight, ten. No, oh, just roll ten. You need a lot of sixes. We're just gonna get onto their field of pain, you see. So, 
two, four, six, seven failed, and then you said sixteen. Yeah. So you need to run another six. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, that's the score of light. Cool. For once, you guys didn't actually give me value. Usually, I always give me value in that little desk I've been showing. Okay, uh, Celestine. Mm -hmm. Hitting on twos. Yep. Oh, oh, minus one to hit. Hit on threes, huh? So that one fails. Mm -hmm. Two bursts. For the seven. Three to win. So that is five at minus three. So five pluses, how much damage? Two each. Oh. Cocked. Well, that looks like a five to me, eh? <laughs> no. <laughs> The Kamehameha. Mm -hmm. Let me check. I think she gets. I'll check the uh, official 4K app. Not. No. Uh, that, uh, yep, she's got 30 attacks going by the app. <laughs> is, that, is that really a thing? <laughs> no, I'm doing, I'm doing. <laughs> she's got 4 attacks, uh, plus 1 for Bloody Rose. Okay. Okay. So we're hitting on twos, you're on ones. Follow you. Uh, so two sixes. Blast blade is strength five, so it'll be five soon, yeah? Yeah. Two. Minus. Uh, minus four. Tell me just how much damage? Two, three. Three, four damage. Minus one. So, uh, three damage. Okay. How many wounds have I left? Three. Oh. One. Okay. Alright, well you're fucked now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so it's four, five, six, plus the two, plus the bonus one. Six fist strength twelve. Three at uh, three damage a pop minus four. Four a pen down. One goes through. Alright, then she takes three damage. That was two. Cool. Okay. End of your turn? Yeah. So I denied you two of your oath for the moment points. Oh yeah, good call. Yeah, that's why. So you get one for that. Mm-hmm. And then I get two for all fronts, because I failed at getting into three sections. Yeah. Okay. Start your turn, you hold three. three. I hold three. Yeah. So, ten. Oh, you get um, your two few banners. Oh, thanks. Remind me what the deal with raising banners is. If you do it, you can't action, right? You can't. You can only move. That's the only thing you can do. You can move. Okay. Okay. Tech Marine will awaken the tank again, and he's going to cast. Um, He's going to cast a litany of uh, hate on himself. Passes, and he's going to cast what's the other litany of strength? Mass, mantra of strength. Both litany. That's just what I needed. So. can do that and then change kind of, like you could start raising the mana but then choose to shoot and it cancels it. Yes. Yeah. 
Okay. Who's raising the banner? Well, one of these guys. Okay. Oh, that tank's really strong. I find it really impossible to kill. Yes, yeah, 600 points, Andrew. Alright. <laughs> mm. um, the tank is... The 5 up gun helps a lot. Yeah, I mean, it's the only reason the librarian is really on the board, I would guess. Um, the tank has got 7 wounds, okay, so it's in the middle profile at the moment. Just six wounds at some lowest. Um, that's fine. Um, so if it's a middle profile, it moves five inches. I'm just going to basically turn. So we're touching this. And Okay, so the front two aren't moving. Base for killing your death company in combat. Okay. We're going to pay two CP to machine spirit the tank. Is that just top profile? Yeah. I'm going to use its top profile this time. Okay. Um, and then we will. Um, also have the technique heal on back up three. So he's got back up to ten wounds. Right. Second phase. We're gonna smite your character right in front of me. Okay. He's still smite. Dead. Nice. We're not gonna be in range to um, I don't think we're going to be in range to buff the tank anymore. Balls, I forgot. That's why I moved that character there to get an extra combat attack on your dread. Now we killed it. <laughs> no, <my laughs> okay, uh, I'm going to. Do you know what? If he gets perils, he's dead. <laughs> Maybe we'll just stay where we are and try and charge this guy. I mean, it's a four inch charge. I can't it seems risky. Um, how strong is that character in combat? Terrible. Like? He's terrible. Okay. This is the preacher. Okay. Alright, well, what we'll do is we'll start with the tank and um, we're going to shoot. The volcano cannon. Mm -hmm. How many wounds did she go again? Six. Right, the volcano cannon into her. Mm -hmm. Last cannons into the big squad. Mm -hmm. Six heavy bolters into the little squad. Three heavy bolters into the big squad again. Okay. So, last cannons into the big squad. <laughs> Four hits. Four last cannons, please. Five up and done. 
three die. Good enough. Just put them back. Um, heavy bolters into them. Yeah. Threes again. Three more saves. Minus one. Uh, so fours. One dice. One dice. Um, okay. We put um, four last cannons into the front sword. No, we didn't. We put the You've done all your last cannons. Yeah. You did eight last cannons. Yeah, so right. it's, and then how many heavy bolters did I just roll? Six? Yeah, so you've got one heavy bolter okay. into that. Into this. And then the big gun cells in right here. Okay. Two is it? One. One. Fine. That wasn't so good. It's the most I'm just playing back to go shooting, he's done yet. Uh, big gun into Celestine. Mm -hmm. Five hits. Uh, two stone. Minus five. Four at pin So first one. Is it three or two? Three. Second one. Six damage. Hold on. I can't reroll. Okay. Uh, two up, she gets back up. Yep. Do I score a point for a killing character? No. Okay, so she's lost her first life, basically. Yeah. Okay. Um, I don't think so. Tech Marine will rapid fire the, the black gun colored guys. Um, Tech Marine set twos, yeah. One save. Good. Okay, and then these guys will rapid fire at the sword guys. Uh -huh. So, I'll be. So, four rapid fire. And I don't actually think you can see. No, oh, he's got to go over the ruin. Yeah, so it's just four rapid fires. One not wound and Jesus. one not wound. No, that would do. Um, Melfi going at that character there. Hits, wounds. So you got safe against that. Got an M one. Don't know what it is. <laughs> Go. Maybe he doesn't. I think he does. I'm surprised they even got it in alphabetic order. Four up in one, he's good. Okay, that's surprising. Um, so Rosarius, I guess he's because he's like a he's like a chaplain kind of guy. Okay, um, I think that, so the front two didn't move, so they were rapid fire. Uh -huh. The other ones did, so. And the back one is in room, so it'll be seven shots. Do you mind? Do you minus one when you're shooting Celestine, by the way? Yeah, I got a four, five, and a five. Okay, I'll check that in the video. Pretty sure. That was fine. I'll check it. I'm gonna call sure. you out in chat. Okay. You there. Yeah, they might. I'm very. I'm pretty sure it was. What did I just write <laughs> there? <laughs> they get three sixes. Sorry for you off. I don't know. Probably cheating again. You just put some sixes down on the tray and then like that's your shots, yeah. Well, I mean, I, I rolled the seven dice, right? Sure. And then I picked up three misses. Okay. Were they actually? I don't know. Yeah, so, yeah, no, that's fine. Well, I'll say that. No, that, that's, that's fine. So three well, all, three all wounds, yeah. Okay. And a miss. So three on these guys, yes. Yeah. Yes. Minus. Nothing, nothing. So three ups. Uh, one miss. Infernal pistol, it goes. Mm -hmm. This is crack made. Three saves. No bias. Threes. Right. Him. Um. So you failed your action there now, yeah? I just forgot to say I was doing it. You said you were doing the action. Well, you shot, shot him. him. Yeah, that's what I mean. I, I didn't say it at the right time, I guess. Um, 
He's going to rapid fire into the squad right there. Yeah. Uh, into the solid. Yeah, the one that's not in cover. He saves. Next one. Four. Two die. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, they've shot, they've shot, he shot. This didn't go nearly as well as I'd hoped. Okay. Charges. I mean, these guys will charge then. This guy will charge both squads. Mm -hmm. This guy will charge that. Okay. I don't think so. Nope. You don't get a plus one now. Yeah, but I don't even think that'll get me a bullet. I can't see. So that's four. Yeah. You think it'll get four will get you on top of oh, okay. It's hard for me to see the base from where I was. Yeah, you've only got to get within an inch, so... Um, these incursors mm -hmm. will charge the white guys. Okay. Yes, that's what we needed. 12 inch charge. Keep this bloody tank alive. <laughs> get worried for your tanky. <laughs> Um, and Tech Marine will charge the black guys. Okay. Oh shit. Are you just trying to get some extra range there? No. It's nine. Yeah. Twelve inch charge. That's how we do it. Two in a row I did that against Brett as well, he was so <laughs> upset. It's like what? And how much CP you got? You're not doing it. No. None. Even. We both fucked each other with the lack of interrupts. Alright, these guys are on the on them guys, so. Um, I used three, way too many CP at the start of the game. Five. I got a bit overexcited rolling dice. Four. Re rolling. It can happen. Four. What is this here? In cursors. Oh, that's a good sign. Yeah. Gotta love it. Hitting on threes. Oh, what well, ones? And twos. That was a two. Yep. Mm -hmm. And then wounding on threes. You're tapping three, aren't you? Yeah. Oh, wounding on twos. Yeah. Two, four, six, seven at minus one. Four ups. Six die. You have five left. Yeah. Right. Nice. Ugh. Tech Marine. I don't think they'd actually kill them. Even scouts are amazing for blood angels and once you get to pass like yeah. once you get to that. Yeah. I mean you get two additional attacks on every mod on and then you get plus one to your wound roll and I guess but already winning on threes, that's pretty nasty. Yeah. So the Tech Marine just has his, his, his axe, I guess. So it's five attacks, weapon skill three. You should have a servo arm as well. He's equipped with a pull pistol and axe. Oh, a servo arm, yeah, sorry. You can only get one of the attacks with a servo arm. Have no, I'm not going to fight any. I'll just use the, I'll just use the power sword. That okay. Got. Power axe, sorry. So power axe is strength plus two. Uh, so it'll be two to one once we hit. So threes to hit. Minus three. Four, five up. Two down. Did you kill? Two, the two without melt pistols and the plasma, leave the plasma as well. Okay. Oh, and I guess I can consolidate here as well. Yeah. Maybe you can fly if you want to. Um, okay, dreadnought. Mm -hmm. 
I didn't cast a second power, so it's just seven attacks. Hit him with these. Uh, wounding on twos. Hey, Ren, how you doing? More room. All wounded. Five at minus four. Four at pinball. Three damage? He's fine. He's got a wound left. That's the biggest tank in the world. Yeah, it's causing problems. John. <laughs> He's making up for some sort of the whole lot of fun. That's a giant tank. He has a normal size tank. Okay, so attacks four plus one, five. Red tusk is zero. Huh? Red tusk is zero. So six attacks, a half amount of strength, so seven attacks, um, and then six is do mortal wounds, and we also cast a uh, litany of hate for re rolling everything. Um, we're going to put, I guess, the we'll put the black dice on the squad that's just got three left, mm -hmm. and we'll put the red dice on the other squad. Um, I'll hit. Did it two, yeah? Yeah, his weapon, his weapon skills two is plus two. Oh, okay. Um, so wounding on twos, sixes do mortal wounds, so it's two mortal wounds, and four saves. Minus? Minus three. Sixes. Dead. Okay, no, no, that was, that was the same. Oh, right. Yeah, those guys. And then, because I wanted to make, make sure it killed them. So the other guys, two wounds. Yeah, minus three. Yeah, two done. Oh, mother. I can roll one hit and one wound. <laughs> I get another attack on my... <laughs> it goes around, doesn't it? Uh, and then finally, Vanguard Veterans. Yeah. Um, so Sarge is five attacks. The guys with chain swords, which I think is just one left, because I've kept the power fist guys, yeah. So the chain sword guy is five attacks as well, and then power fists are four. I mean, these guys are dead, I'm sure. Um, so black's hitting on fours, everyone else is hitting on threes. Okay, so toughness of Sisters is just threes, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. So two's all right. So one at minus four. Six up. No. All right. These at minus two. So five up. Three to head. That's uh, one left, is there? Yeah. And then these are at minus four as well. Preacher gets three attacks plus one for the chainsaw, uh, and he's on BS four, three, sorry, four, four. That's two. Uh, it's gonna be like strength, it's gonna be sixes. No, and over there, they get two attacks each plus one for the spear. They'll go into your squad. So three. And uh, it's fine. Three, so fives. One or minus one. Two. Okay, I think that's it. Is it? Oh, here. Yeah. yeah, so we'll pile in. Superior gets four attacks. The other gets two. Four. The sixes generate double, and then uh, strength three, so fives. Yeah. Oof. Uh, six saves at minus one. Six saves. All right. So fours. Well, this is well. So three go through, and I will reroll. I didn't reroll a save yet, did I? No. 
It's gone, is he? Yeah, has he got what's he got on him? Well, he's got four on him already. I usually count down, don't I? That's counting down. That's counting down. Oh, I need to get killed. He, he was counting. He, I think one of them left, I think, or one or two max. Okay. How many wounds have you got? Seven. Does he? Yeah. How many did I do on him there? Three. Yeah, he'll be dead then. And he had a lot of wounds from... From other... Sure. Remember, he got shot with like, the bolters and he lost the loads there. <laughs> Maybe that's not the best way to run him, is it? I always count down wounds, I find that. Like. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe that isn't. Oh, I don't know if I got as much value out of him. Give me roll one save as I thought I might. Right. Wasn't expecting that. Start my turn. I get 15. I think. No, I don't. Yeah. Shield up. Oh, I don't hold that on anymore. Pulse. Get 10. I thought I was going to squeak out an extra. <laughs> Did we score my old fronts there? I haven't done a score yet. Okay. So, off for the moment. I didn't feel the leadership test. So, you're going to get one for that. And did I kill a character? When did that character die? No, it didn't. No, it died. That was that gave me one last turn, I think. So I've just got one, and if I kill that person in your turn, I'll get another one. Yeah. Oh, okay, so that's not at least mark for me. And all fronts you'll get. So did you give me eleven? So I've got one for not. Oh, but yeah, no, that's right. Yeah, mark it. Yeah. All fronts have got one, two, three, four, so it's uh, a full three. And then banners, I should have got two as well. I gave that at the start. Okay, yeah, so I get them. Yeah, because you've been three rounds on banners. Yeah. So I'll get two at the start on a fifth turn, and then two at the end of the game, yeah. I'll just declare it. Uh, they're going to do scramblers. Mm -hmm. I'm going to see your life so that one more is Yeah. I'm going to just pop on with some bullets. That'd be good. Okay, for some unknown reason, even though I'm recording with two cameras, at this point I have no more audio for the rest of this game, so I'm just going to commentate over the top and maybe I can give some insight on what was happening that maybe you don't see in the report. So the Tech Marine managed to at least get in on his charge on the big group of um, Seraphin with the Infernal Pistols. I mean it was good that he managed that because I mean two key charges there where I got really good rolls uh, just to help keep the super heavy tank alive. Um, now Celestine is going to flame and then uh, charge the super heavy tank, but um, I mean it's very difficult with its toughness 8 and its 2 plus save for for, for Celestine I guess. Um, and at this point this game was actually kind of down to the wire, like it was a very bloody game in that I felt like I'd lost a lot of units and I guess once we wrap up this turn 
that it really felt like both sides had hammered into each other. Okay, so I think he's flaming the tank right now. So he got five shots and he got no wounds. Obviously the toughness eight is an issue for his, the Celestine's flamer. And the fact that it kind of wrapped his flying guys in combat down there, um, that was ideal. That, that couldn't have gone sweeter, right? Um, and I think he's shooting his infernal pistols. Yeah, he must have been shooting his infernal pistols into the infiltrators. And uh, one dies, and another dies, potentially. Or a couple of saves. So... Took out an infiltrator. I mean, I would have. If I was a him, I might have killed the tech marine because the tech marine could have gone over and helped the tank out a bit. And then he peppers my leviathan. Uh, sorry, my librarian dreadnought with some bolter fire. He uses a miracle dice to get one wound against me, and then I have to make a save, which I fail, and then I have to make a feel no pain which I also fail. So, I mean, I didn't roll the explosion here, I remember this, um, but I mean, even if he'd exploded, there was nothing in range, so it was okay that I forgot to roll it. Um, okay, so now the big squad of Seraphim are going to uh, charge the other group. Well, I think they're going to shoot the other group first. Maybe make me take one save, which I pass. And then I think they're going to charge. So now it's really on to charges. And I mean, at this point in this game, I really wasn't actually feeling that confident. Um, and Celestine makes the charge into the super heavy tank. Uses Miracle Dice. So the Zephyr and Seraphim make like a 10 inch charge onto those um, infiltrators. And you can basically wrap them. Uh, I mean, it's fine that you, you know, like they were never going to survive all those power swords anyway, I feel like. So it didn't really matter. Uh, as long as he got in charge, he was going to do some good damage. And then um, I think that's it. Like that's that's all he had left in turn four, really. Um, which is not bad considering he had like those six deep striking forces. Or, sorry, six deep striking units, which were... You know, like, with the amount of power swords, you saw what they did to the Sanguary Guard. Um, they, like, melted, like, three quarters of a squad in one turn. Just so many power sword attacks. So I think this is Celestine against the tank. And he makes one wound. So I think the tank... I think Celestine's weapon was flat damage two. So at this point, the tank's down to about five wounds. Um, I think it was on 8 and I can I can fall back and shoot that tank because it is titanic so I mean the volcano cannon already killed Celestine once in the middle of the board so I mean there's a good chance that I could fall back and, and kill her again and then yeah here come all the power sword attacks into the infiltrators um and it's a lot, I guess. And there's a bunch of exploding sixes. Um, so it's probably going to wound infiltrators on fours, I think. Because um, the power swords are plus one strength. So they're now, they're now strength four, whereas before they were threes. And I think I was just asking him there, like, what gives you the exploding sixes? And I think it's just, it's a bit like, a bit like the Blood Angels Doctrine. And um, these sisters of battle get those exploding sixes. So it's actually threes, and then he gets to reroll. So that many saves at, like, minus three or minus four. I think it must be, it must be minus four, because at minus three I would get saved. So we literally just, the whole, all infiltrators get deleted uh, from that objective. Those guys are generally quite scary against infantry units, you know, like the 10-man squad gets about 30 attacks, there's a ton of rerolls, and the minus modifiers are really nasty. Um, and then, okay, so now I get to attack back with my infiltrators. So it's going to be like, what, three on the sergeant and two on the other guys, so about nine attacks here, hitting on threes. 
Uh, wounding on twos, I guess, because these are sisters of battle. Actually, wounding on threes because I wouldn't have had red thirst, I think. So, uh, four at minus one, and P fails them all. So, <laughs> job done for the infiltrators managing to wrap up that nasty squad of infernal pistols back up. And then, incorrectly, I thought I could uh, consolidate, activate and consolidate my tech marine, but he actually turned, he actually charged last turn. So I moved him, thinking I could come in and uh, help keep that objective under my control. Um, However, I could not do that. So we figure that out in a second and we move them back. And I guess these guys, um, they do get their three inch move. Um, because they did, they were the ones that killed the unit. So then the round then, I scored two from my banners and I scored one for Oath of the Moment in ha having not failed that leadership test. Uh, Andrew scores two for all fronts. So, I mean, going into the final turn, I have quite a decent lead here. It's 62 against 36. And he did put Scramblers in his own deployment. So, if Seraphin at the back of the board survive, then they would be able to... Um, they'd be able to deploy the Scramblers and get in the 10 points. However... The Vanguard veterans really don't want them to survive, and um, yeah, so I haven't realised yet that that Tech Marine can move, and I guess and we are in the process of figuring that out and rolling it back as we get the points for the final battle round. So I thought I would hold two, um, but it turns out because of that, I actually only hold one in the final battleground, the Vanguard's on the back field, so... Maybe it was a bit of a misplay in protecting my uh, super heavy tank. I gave up five points, but hopefully it's not going to come back and hurt me too badly. And then these infiltrators are going to come out as far forward as they can. They're going to try and shoot and kill this character. If we manage to do that, then we will, um, you know, get our oath of the moment point. And also, uh, we may be able to prevent him scoring an extra objective in the final turn. Uh, the Vanguard veterans, fortunately, are just going to jump right back. Uh, easy charge range for them. Um, I think we're going to shoot an Infernal Pistol and throw a crack grenade at them um, before we engage them in combat. But turn three with Savage Echoes in like a two-inch charge, that seems like a pretty safe play to me. I was double-checking if it was worth me doing that or if it would be better if my Vanguard veterans stayed still and put a banner up, um, but it would actually be better for me to kill them because if he deployed the scramblers then he would get 10 points, right? And if I put my banner up with the Vanguard veterans that are already on objective, then it would just give me one point. So it made more sense to jump in and make sure that we kill off, kill off that unit. And like I said, the Falchion's actually titanic, so it could fall back one inch from Celestine and then fire everything at her. Um, but it used to mention that on the data sheet. It doesn't mention it anymore. Uh, so at the end of the movement phase, my tech marine uh, heals the falchion back up three wounds. So that's useful. So I think that actually moved him from like low bracket into the middle bracket, just making his ballistic skill a little bit better. So yeah, he could have fallen back, and he could have shot the volcano cannon at Celestine. But what we actually do is we just shoot all the heavy bolters. And the last cannons at Celestine, but we're going to start with these uh, infiltrators, and I think we get six shots over at that one Crozius guy, or seven shots, I guess, some rapid fire in there in 12 inches, and then we force him to take um, four saves, and he does have a Crozius, that's a pretty strange character, that Cannon S, um, but yeah, that finally kills him off, so we get our one VP for Oath of the Moment, so... Um, that's a solid percentage play. Now, um, we're going to shoot everything into Celestine that we can, but obviously we can't declare the Volcano Cannon here, which was annoying. Um, but if I'd known you could have fallen back, I could have fallen back and declared the Volcano Cannon. So I end up not declaring the Volcano Cannon. And this is a stupid mistake. Like, I guess if there's something in range that's visible in combat, you should always declare the Cannon. And right across the middle of the board, 
there's those three final battle sisters, two of them standing out of cover, so I could have declared the cannon over on them. And um Yeah, so one last cannon hits Celestine. Then we do the heavy bolters. And I guess a few of them hit her as well. And then roll to wound, last cannon wounds, heavy bolters, couple of wounds. So last cannon save. He fails it. So we roll five damage on the last cannon. Um, I was going to CP that, but I think we're happy with the five damage. Um, and then he fails one of the heavy bolters, which uh, ultimately kills her. So if I declared the volcano cannon at this point over at that squad, then we would have arguably been able to wipe that squad over on that objective. I mean, the volcano cannon would have probably, you know, you'd probably get four shots, you'd probably get two hits, you'd definitely probably get two wounds, so maybe we would have left one battle sister alive over on that uh, objective. So the Infernal Pistol, I believe, misses, and then we throw a frag grenade, I think, because it was sisters, force a couple of saves over here, um, which are both passed, and then I think there's an Infernal Pistol, which uh, kills one of them. And then, I mean, at that point, all that's left to do here in my turn is really make the charge against the Seraphim. And I mean, I don't even know if I need to roll the charge, but uh, typically, even if I'm dead close, we still roll the charge. And yeah, that's a five inch and we're about one inch away at that point. So uh, no danger. So the Vanguard veterans come in. So it would, if if the Volcano Cannon had shot over at those sisters, then if this squad dies, then he would just have that one sister, battle sister left. I guess pro tip is never, never don't declare a weapon or always declare your weapons, even if you don't think you're going to kill it, because I was convinced that I wasn't going to kill Celestine with the last cannons and the heavy bolter in close range. But you know what? Two key saves and it happened. So um, the red dice will be relic blades. Uh, all those black dice will be power fists, and then I have some chain swords as well. Um, so, I'm not sure what rule I'm checking at the moment. Um, I feel like I know. I feel like I know how many attacks Vanguard veterans get, so I don't know what I would be checking in the book right now, but I'm, I'm checking something. But yeah, I mean, this was definitely a bloody game um, in terms of, like, a lot of things died. So we start with the Chain Swords and the Relic Blades, and um, then we do the Power Fists, obviously minus one to hit with the Power Fists. And then Wounding, Power Fists will wound on twos, the Relic Blade will wound on twos, and I think the Chain, fist, uh, chain Swords will wound on twos as well, because it, uh, it's... it's Red Thurston plus one, so it's a lot of saves he's going to need to take. Um, so he takes three and I guess fails some of those, and then he takes four and fails some of those, and then he's got seven more power fists to take. And yeah, they're gone. I don't even think he had to take any of the saves against power fists. The chain sword and the relic blade guy alone deleted that unit. I mean, they're they are way for thin, but they sure do. They sure do a lot of damage when they charge in um, with all those power sword attacks. So yeah, as we move into the final turn then, sitting on 62 points, get one more for no leadership fail and holding my banner for the end of the turn, but that's really, that's me capped out. There's nothing else I can do. I fail all fronts in the final turn, but I think it was more important like, I could have kept my banner and gotten all fronts for three points, but I think it was more important to pretend, prevent the scoring of ten by him casting Scramblers with those uh, Seraphim in my deployment zone in his turn five. So yeah, his turn five, uh, we move straight on into that. And really in turn five, he scores five for those three Sisters of Battle that he has holding that one objective. And that is all he can do. 
So he ends the game on 41. He doesn't score Titan Hunter at all. He doesn't score Scramblers. So I guess maybe... I mean, he did 21 wounds to the, the, the Super Heavy Tank, and the Super Heavy Tank got repaired two or three times, right? So it's like he probably actually did enough damage to kill it, but um, the all-or-nothing uh, secondaries for me I find tricky to, to pick. Um, so obviously in this case it didn't go so well for him. And I guess all fronts and raised banners actually didn't go so well for me. Just picked up eight in both of those, which is kind of low, but... Um, I mean, I guess it was a very, you know, like, both armies took a hell of a beating in this in this matchup. I mean, what have we got left? We've got five Vanguard Vets, we've got four Infiltrators, we've got Tet Marine and a really badly wounded tank. Um, so yeah, I mean, all that Deep Strike coming in, you have to expect that you're going to take damage and um, you just have to do your best to sort of survive out and zone out as much of the Deep Striking. I feel like... In the early turns, my zoning was fairly good, and it and it kept my key units alive until it, into the end game. And then bear in mind, like the Death Company did nothing for me this game. You drop them down, they failed their charge, and then they got charged by a, one of those groups with the thirty odd power sword attacks, and they just got wiped. Um, so that was very unfortunate. But I mean, an eight inch charge with a reroll, it's only a sixty five percent. Uh, play so I mean two out of three games it works for you but in the third game it doesn't and in this game obviously it didn't and I guess we had to kill Celestine twice because she sometimes comes back alive and um, so we had to deal with that so yeah that very much ends the game with a 64 v 51 score uh, I was happy with that uh, score I, I think there was a few misplays a few things I could have done better um, but, and I, and I mean, I guess I was brand new to the, this was the first game I played with the Blood Angels uh, supplement, and I think it turned out that I don't, didn't use a single strat from the Blood Angels supplement, except the one for the double Warlord trait, and um, most of my strats were very defensive, like, I think I played Smokescreen a few times, maybe more than a few times, and... Um, yeah, it, it it felt like a defensive game, but it felt like it had to be with the six squads of Deep Strikers coming in. So yeah, very tough fought battle this week. I mean, um, this was about the fourth game with this list, various minor tweaks, but this is the super heavy tank list that I have been running. Some other people in the Facebook group have run it and said they feel like it's pretty strong. Uh, I like having the Sanguary Guard, the Death Company, and the Vanguard Veterans, along with a super heavy tank. I would like a cheaper heavy tank, and I think I am going to order one, but... Um, yeah, I think it is an interesting list. I think it adds a degree of fire support to the Blood Angels that makes us very strong. It kind of is the ultimate distraction. Your opponent needs to decide whether they're going to ignore it or go for it, and both are difficult for them to do. So, um, yeah, I really hope you enjoyed that battle report. And as I say, we are working towards this. We have a setup now. We streamed two games against Iron Hands last week, and we have a setup now where we can go live with battle reports, and we'll be doing that. Uh, on a regular basis in the very near future but uh, while we're in lockdown we'll show you some archive battles like this one and I really hope you enjoyed it and uh, I hope it maybe gives you some thoughts or considerations for your next uh, Blood Angels uh, battle. Okay I hope you have a really good week uh, I know some people are still on holiday so uh, enjoy your holiday I'll definitely have some extra streams going out this week, some hobbying, uh, a tactics video you definitely want to check out on Friday, and then we have the live army show, as always, every Sunday, so uh, consider sticking around for that too. Um, okay, hope to see you in the next video. Talk to you all soon. By the blood are we made. Peace.